video it's actually something i've been wanting to do just personally for a while which is we're going to a liquidation center when i always thought about like liquidation centers i always thought about like homes and things like that but they actually have liquidation centers for like clothes electronics furniture and stuff like that so i just got hip to this like on tiktok maybe a couple of months ago but just recently i kind of stumbled across one when i was with my family in richmond so we were like, oh shoot, we have to go and do this in Charlotte. So that's what we've been doing all week. Well, my mom, she's already been doing this earlier this week. She said she was not waiting on me. So today we're all gonna go together to this liquidation center down here. I think it's in Morrisville. I'll tag it down below or put the name down on the screen somewhere. But yeah, that's where we're headed to today. I'm really hoping we find some good things. When we went to the one in Richmond, we found a lot of clothing and stuff like that. And yeah, like I came back with five or six things for $2 and they were brand new items so yeah i'm really hyped i'm excited about today <laughs> so yeah that's what we're about to get into and let's hope we find some good stuff all right so this is what the inside looked like they were basically a big bins full of the different items different return items or different unopened items oh look my mom's here so my family had came and they also were looking for items too. So yeah, it had a few rules in here. We weren't able to open any of the boxes or open any of the plastic. So it was hard in some spaces to figure out what exactly was on the inside. But they had a lot of different items, stuff I didn't really expect to be there, which was pretty cool. The day we decided to come was I think a Friday. So everything in the store was $10 unless it was like smaller items. At the time that we got there, it was like literally 10.02 and it was already pretty packed in there. So yeah, you have to get there early if you want to get this good stuff. They do bring things out as you're still there and as the pile depletes. But overall, like what you see is what you get type of vibe. They also did have a section over in the corner where they like allowed you to try some of the electronic items and like plug it in to make sure it's working. But even that kind of had a line so you could only bring I think like three or four items at a time to check that out so everybody could see if their item works. So that was an option to do. I decided not to do that just because I don't know I was a little lazy. <laughs> but yeah they had a lot of dope items here. But yeah the space definitely gave me the vibe of hunting for treasure. It's a good spot for people who like to do impulse buying. I'm trying to get away from that so i don't know if this was probably the best spot for me but you know we're here like i mentioned earlier the day we went it was ten dollars but they also do have other days like monday through thursday where the price may be down to even a dollar so you really can get lucky there and find like some really good items for pretty cheap but of course on the cheaper days you know it's not going to be as many items available oh look at my sister yeah she was recording me recording for me so shout out to her and yeah i ended up buying this item actually don't know why because i'm not pregnant and i don't know but it was a really good price like for a nest like come on also another thing they gave us these trash bags to put all our items in so it's not like any carts or anything so please be aware especially if you have any kind of handicap or anything you kind of have to tote these around so yeah that was that So at this point, we started game planning as a family. How are we gonna tackle this stuff? So we started at the end corner <laughs> and we just like try to make sure we got every bin. Again, it's a ton of people and it's a ton of items. You can't really see everything. So it's, things are gonna get missed, but we are trying to make sure we got a good pick or a good pick a good see of everything they had to offer yeah i don't know again if this is the best place for me because i was finding a whole bunch of stuff that i really didn't need but i wanted to get just because i was like oh it's here and it's cheap we spent about 30 minutes here for the size of the store that i feel like that makes a lot of sense too we did actually find clothing here as well i don't know if it's in this video but in the front area they had a whole bunch of like a racks of clothing it wasn't nearly as much as the one in richmond the first one i went to did 
have, but it was still nice nonetheless. Clearly, because I had my bags full. But as we were heading out, we realized that it was another liquidation center that was right a few doors down. So we decided to go in there and see what they had. This place had a lot of clothes. It was a lot bigger, but things were laid out and separated a lot more. This place had a lot of furniture as well and decent price furniture. Like, I would definitely come back here. I know me and Quan plan on getting an Airbnb soon, hopefully perfectly, and this would be like an ideal place. Like, look at this couch. It's a little dirty, but for $249 or $300, and even these chairs, they're definitely in style right now. And look at them, $100. So for me, I think it was a pretty good deal. They had name furniture, name brand furniture for decent prices. So yeah, and even little decor pieces. So if you're ever looking for a small decor, this might be a good place, especially if you're in the Charlotte region. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Boom. And we back. Okay. All right. So just got home. And let's see what we got. I feel like I got a lot of goodies, like personally. I feel like it's a little random but like i didn't go in there with an intent to find a certain item just went in there randomly to figure out you know what they had so i think all in all I did pretty good today the day we went it was ten dollars for per item i believe and throughout the week it'll be less and less just depending on the day you went since they got their shipment today that's why it was that price so first thing i got was this wireless golf speaker which i didn't really care about the golf part because i don't golf but I like the fact that it was magnetic and it was a speaker. I think it's a really cool item. I could use it as a gift, honestly, or I could just use it around the house. I probably will use it around the house because I'm pretty sure it's water resistant too. Yeah, it's waterproof too. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. So the Bluetooth speaker was the first thing I purchased. In total, all I spent today, I don't think I mentioned it, was $107. And I got a pretty decent amount of items. So I think that's pretty good. What you think? I think so. Okay, the next thing I did was I got this makeup, this uh, LED lighted makeup kit, which I got this because we're planning on like getting Airbnb pretty soon. So I'm trying to go ahead and start stocking up for things now before it gets here. So it's not like I'm getting a ton of stuff all at once. But I'm almost treating it like I would treat like me moving into my apartment where I start buying stuff before I actually have to move in. That way it's not like I'm buying a ton of stuff at one time. So. Yeah, that's why I got this, just to put into an Airbnb in the future. Thought it was really, really cute. And yeah, opens up like that. Oh! Y'all see that? It has a crack in it. That's really, really unfortunate. And that's the one, I guess it's the downside to having, to going to these liquidations is like, because you can't open the boxes and stuff while you're there. So you really don't know and you can't return stuff either. So that's disappointing. Okay. What else did I get? I got this foldable light studio set. I did this because I've been, you know, doing photography and I know I want to do some product photography as well. So yeah, I got that for this. And what else did we get? Oh, I got this outdoor BART control. I'm really excited to see if this works. I'm excited to see what Quan says about this too. What it does apparently is if it hears barking over a certain level, it'll do like a certain kind of ring, I'm assuming. So it'll stop the dog from doing it. So Kelly, she has, she don't be... Callie, my dog, my little baby. She's dog aggressive. So she, when she sees dogs on the patio, she like loses it, loses it. And we're on the patio all the time. So it's like a constant thing of like trying to get her to calm down. So I'm curious if this will actually work. Let's see what it looks like actually. Okay, so let's see, let's see. It's giving flea market right now so far. Not all these things I don't believe were $10. I think some of the smaller items like this and this were more like $4. This was like the other thing I got, which is just the charger where you can just put your phone on it and charge. This isn't new, but I personally wanted one of these. I'm like, dang, I should just get one. And I got one today, so that was cool. The next thing I got was some smart wife light bulbs. I got this, I recently got one pack and I think it was like $6, but it was literally just one of them. So when I saw it, I was like, oh cool, I can definitely get some more. So I think these are pretty cool. They connect to Alexa. And that way I can have, like I can say Alexa, turn the lights on. Alexa, turn the lights off. So it's remote control. You can also do it by the app. But yeah, excited for this because I had just got these. And now I can like do this all over my house, which would be really cool. All right. 
Next up, I got a USB charging station. We have so many devices, <laughs> like iPads, phones, and things like that, computers. So I figured this would be a good buy. Again, I don't believe this one was $10. I think this was cheaper because it is one of the more smaller items. But, yeah, cool little charging station. So I'll probably play with that in a little bit and get that set up. And... This is one of the items that I actually was most excited for, even though I have <laughs> no kids at all, was this snuggle nest. I just watch a lot of YouTubers <laughs> and I realized that this is like a really popular thing for uh, kids, for pregnancies and stuff like that, or for newborns and stuff. And it's pretty pricey. This is only, like I said, $10 because it is one of the larger items. Only $10, but I think this like retails for like $50. So I did get this. Part of me is like, oh, I should just keep it for when I have my baby, but I don't know when I have a job. So I think I'm just going to sell it again. I just know it was a really popular thing and it's uh, completely unopened. So I was like, oh, this is definitely something to get. Luckily, I don't have any friends who are pregnant and stuff. So uh, yeah, I probably just end up selling this one. My mom looked it up and I think these are retailing again, I think like $50, $55. So yeah, I thought it was a pretty good buy. I think that's all the other stuff that I have. The only other two things I got, I think I showed you guys a clip of it when we were still walking around the, the warehouse. I got something for my mom. It was a vinyl. I'm just going to insert the picture. I got that and also got also got some wireless headphone speakers too. So, yeah, those were the two things I got. All in all, I don't know. I think I would go again. I don't think I would like rave about it though I feel like it's a hit or miss like clearly we had the one broken mirror which is kind of upsetting and then also my mom she went today and I don't think she found anything I don't think my grandmother found anything so I think it just depends on the day that you go <laughs> personally I found a few things that I'm actually pretty happy about like these were probably my favorite one of the charging stations and then also the light bulbs and the speaker so I feel like I got some a few good things. So so yeah, you guys let me know if you have any liquidation centers near you that you like to go to. What do you typically look for when you're going there? Again, I didn't get anything at the second store, which was a furniture store. But I think those were a lot of really, really great deals. I'm just not in the market of furniture right at this moment. I have no place for it. So <laughs> I couldn't go there. But I think it's all in all, like I would do it again. I think so. I think so. But you guys let me know in the comments how you guys feel. If you stay towards the end of this vlog, then please, please make sure you like and subscribe and stick around. We have new videos every single week, if not multiple videos every single week. So stick around, join our journey. We would love to have you a part of the tribe. But yeah, that was all for this video and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.